What's going on, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I have an absolutely hilarious video for you guys today, at least for the people who kind of enjoy X Defiant and have to, you know, hear a lot of crap about them enjoying X Defiant for all these months. Guys, if you don't remember correctly, just recently, they went ahead and had a event which allowed you to pick up free X Defiant coins and also, you know, tokens for your weapon, so on and so forth to give you double, you know, weapon XP, all that good stuff. I, I am a little disappointed that they didn't have like a pop-up window to showcase you, you know, progressing through that. I feel like more people would have known about it. Basically, the only ones who really knew about this were, you know, well, actually, I shouldn't say that because they do have a pop-up, a notification, you know what I'm saying, that says, hey, we're giving away free, you know, stuff. Uh, that comes live the second you load up X Defiant, but I still think they should have went a little bit further. You know, I, I feel like there should have been a, a progression to show you what you got, what you missed, how many days you might have missed, the exact date that it's going to end, you know, like a little calendar that would pop up and show it to you. I think that would have been good to, you know, help people understand what was going on. But regardless, that's not the point. The point here is that they went ahead and introduced this to the community, even though it was scheduled to be like this for a long time now, right? Like, we've talked about this on the channel. We we've seen Mark Rubin discuss this even, you know, before the articles were dropping that X Divine is losing a tremendous amount of players, so all that, you know, stuff, man. This right here has always been something that they wanted to do. Give away, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there and encourage people to hop back into the experience. But of course, when they actually go ahead and do this and put it into motion, everybody comes out and says, oh, X Define is so dead. Oh, I, I, I can't imagine any other game would never, uh, Call of, imagine Call of Duty doing something like this, giving away free COD points. Oh, oh my God, it would never happen. The only reason this is happening is because X Define's done for. Oh, guys, guys, today's video is going to be so absolutely juicy. I am so happy to bring this to you all. And when I first saw it, I was dying of laughter. But ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead and dive deep, if you guys are interested in more content just like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. We post daily here at 8 in the morning Eastern time. And of course, everything season two related is going to be on this channel as well for X Defiant, which is coming out on Wednesday. So as I said before, hit that bell so you can see everything that goes live about season two or anything else revolving X Defiant or Call of Duty. And last but not least, if you guys want to go ahead and catch me live stream at the X Defiant Season 2 event, and now also I'm going to be live streaming today as well, by all means, tune in. I got a link to my Twitch channel down in the description of this video, and that stream goes up, I would say, around 12 p.m. Eastern Time. And if it's a little late, I mean, it's usually no later than 1 p.m. Eastern Time. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, as you can see right here from Charlie Intel over on Twitter, Activision has been sending out emails to people who have not played Model Fair 3 or Warzone in a while with a free Season 6 Battle Pass code. Oh my god, man. And as you can see, this is the actual official image here. Free Battle Pass for you. Your free Battle Pass. Claim now. Use the code below. But you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, trying to get people back into the experience to milk as much money out of them before we finally move over to, you know, obviously Black Ops 6. Again, it's sad to hear, man. I, I, I want to make this very clear. I have to say this every single time I bring up the death of Model for 3. I hate that this game is not lasting two years. I really wish these games could last longer. The hype could go a little bit further. And Call of Duty wasn't a franchise that revolved around dropping a game, having it be relevant for three months, and then killing it off and waiting until the next game drops and doing the same thing, you know, hyping it up, having it relevant for three months. You know, I, I hate this freaking cycle. But ladies and gentlemen, apparently, if we're going off of, you know, everybody else's knowledge out there that X Defiant is only giving away free stuff because the game is dying, then I mean, if we're going off of that, then realistically, that means Call of Duty is dying and they're in a really rough spot, right? No, no, they're not. And the same goes for X Defiant. This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is what we want to see. And I'm so sick and tired of people coming out, you know, bashing the crap out of these games. Forget it. Forget about it, man. No, we as a consumer want to see stuff like this. Live service was literally advertised to us exactly in this format, getting a bunch of free content, you know, tons of cool updates. You know, the game that I, I actually had a discussion like this in my previous video in the comment section. I really want to talk about live service a bit more in detail. But seriously, live service was advertised to be something huge and it's just been backfired. It's, it's literally been backfiring again and again and again. I mean, some of our favorite franchises like Cod and Battlefield have been destroyed. Halo Infinite, I mean, oh my god, Halo Infinite got the 
demolished because of live service, man. Oh, we drop it now. We fix it up later. It took so long for that game to get any type of content, anything going on within it. Guys, this right here is the step in the right direction. And again, I know everybody's going to say, well, X defines dying because there are Call of Duties. Realistically, this is just stuff we want to see. We want more free content. We want them to be able to give us a little something something. The only thing I'll say about this is that it really sucks that they're not being a bit more open with the rest of their community. And again, it's, it's why I love X Defiant. And it makes me extremely happy that they're so good to their community. The fact that they're only doing this to people who haven't touched <laughs> Modern Warfare 3 or Warzone in ages is wild to me. Everybody else gets screwed. There's some people who have devoted so much money to Activision. They have bought every Black Cell bundle, every skin in the store, every battle pass. There's some people who dumped hundreds of dollars into Activision's pockets. And instead of being rewarded or thanked for, you know, sticking with their game and staying strong and still supporting them with microtransactions, <laughs> they have to buy the final battle pass. And the people who say, Said, screw Activision, we hate your game, we don't want anything to do with you. <laughs> Those are the ones who are going to be able to get free access to this. It makes sense, you know, as a business, those are the ones who you want back, right? The people who are already spending money are more than likely going to keep spending money. So they are irrelevant to a massive corporation. They want the ones who are stepping away and who are trying to leave the game. They want to bring them back into the experience. So logically, it makes sense. But again, comparing the both between this and X Defiant, it is just comical that every single person out there, no matter how much playtime you put into X Defiant, whether you are someone who hated the netcode at the very launch and you never touched it again, or if you're someone who literally stuck through everything like me, myself, we all got the same stuff. You know, I've been had enough X Defiant coins. You know what I'm saying? I don't need any more to get the next battle pass for free. I've already got them, right? Once you get one battle pass, as long as you complete it, you get the rest of them for free. So I'm done. So not only do I have enough, you know, coins for the next battle pass, but I also got 900 extra on top of that for anything else that I might want to go ahead and scoop. Or I can even save them and just keep getting money, you know? They treat everybody equally, and it's fantastic. Call of Duty, on the other hand, they're not dropping free stuff to, you know, make the, the overall community happy. They're dropping free stuff to bring back people who are hating the game, who hate it. Whereas X Defiant, they're dropping stuff to not only get people back into the game, but to please the ones who are already there, right? It's so crucial to reward the players who stick with you. It's so crucial for that because they're the ones who are still tugging along, enjoying the game, supporting it, might even be spending money, right? You want them to feel loved. You want them to know that, you know, their support isn't going unrecognized. And X Defined is doing that so well. They're doing a great job with balancing out being able to try to hyper-focus people who are leaving the game and getting them back into the experience, while at the same time making sure the people who are already there and sticking around are still recognized, noticed, and loved. And trust me, I get it. You know, Ubisoft isn't, you know, the, the best publisher out there. In nowhere close. But seriously... When it comes to the freedom that they're giving this development team, you could tell this development team 1,010% has true freedom. That I've never seen any other development team under a massive, massive publisher like Ubisoft, Activision, or EA. I've never seen a team get this much freedom. Even with Model Fit 3 and Sledgehammer giving us all that communication and really trying to put in a ton of work, you know what I'm saying? You know, things like this are out of their control. Do you think that Sledgehammer said, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and just drop the battle pass for, um, you know, uh, people who haven't touched this game in ages. Now, they probably want to show love to the people who stuck around with Modern Warfare 3, stuck around with their project, enjoyed their game. They probably want them to get some love, too, but that's out of their control. They have nothing to do with that. It, it's, it's insane to see the differences right now between how these development teams are being handled by the higher-ups. And I'm hoping that this continues. And I'm hoping it doesn't backfire for X Defiant. Because if it does backfire for X Defiant and it does truly die, I think a lot of top dogs, you know, top publishers are going to look at that and say, yep, you know, that's what you get for giving a little too much freedom. But only time will tell. At the end of the day, I still think it's not 
completely bad, you know? It sucks that hardcore Modern Warfare 3 players aren't getting any love, you know? I feel like a lot of them should be respected, and, you know, if they already purchased the Battle Pass, refund them the coins and give them it for free, but it is what it is. I understand how business goes, and that is a very... You know, it's it's it, it's it's a dream. It's a dream, right? <laughs> That's not realistic, and I'm not really expecting it to happen. But regardless, this is a step in the right direction for live service, and I'm hoping that we continue to see stuff like this, like how Modern Warfare 3 had a bunch of free stuff given to you throughout the whole year when it came to aftermarket parts and all that stuff. Like, I'm hoping that we really keep up this, you know, this idea of giving the consumer some content, giving them something for you know participating in you know the game's life cycle. But, ladies and gentlemen, as always, go down in the comment section. Let me know how you guys feel about all this stuff. As always, I enjoy reading all the comments. You guys know I really try to grind them out early in the AM. So, if you're there when the video launches, you'll more than likely be able to chat it up with me. But, ladies and gentlemen, as always, if you enjoyed today's video, leave a like. If you hate it, leave a dislike. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. I post daily here at 8 morning Eastern Time. And, of course, if you guys want to check out my live stream, I will be live today over on Twitch at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. You guys can find a link to that channel down in the description of this video. As always, thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.